Hey guys, welcome back to another Boom Beach video. So today, we're going to be talking about heroes on a lower level account. Um, so currently, I don't have Captain Everspark unlocked. Some of you guys have him, some of you guys don't. Um, so we're not going to be discussing Captain Everspark too much. We're going to talk about him a little more about our on our main account in a couple days. So get prepared for that. But as of now, we only have... Uh, Sergeant Brick a reminder don't upgrade your hero abilities guys do not upgrade your hero abilities here do not upgrade your hero abilities there is currently a glitch I don't know if it's patched yet chances are it's gonna be patched by next week so this is the first week of uh, the heroic update so chances are it's gonna be patched um, next week but basically how it works is if you start a hero upgrade of tokens a hero ability upgrade of tokens uh, and you log out and you log back in or it's something like if you get raided or something uh, the ability will cancel itself so if you want to gym it up go for it it's fine but if you log out log back in then your ability is going to get canceled so I lost eight tokens on my main account so I didn't do it on this account so let's talk about uh, our hero so currently I uh, recorded a whole episode but turns out my video was messed up or something so we're not going to show any live attacks i'm so sorry guys I, I wanted to show live attacks i did all of these attacks live um but we're going to be talking about the differences between the heroes at a lower level which heroes you should upgrade which heroes are the best heroes i, I keep saying heroes but what i really mean is abilities which abilities are the best abilities as a lower level so at this level i would say battle orders for hookah and warriors so uh, battle orders basically boost the speed of your troop fi your troops firing speed and it also boosts your troop damage by a little bit and your troop speed movements and stuff like that so if you guys are going to use hookah at this level or ruka i would say either bring iron will or um or bring the battle orders i totally blanked out there ba or iron will or the battle orders at this level if you guys are going to use like tanks or something, it doesn't really matter because tanks are awful with any type of hero because the hero actually stands in front of the troops. So it totally like the hero is going to die like first thing. That's why troops that have like a super short range uh, tanking unit like Hookah, Ruka, or Scorch, Tank, Tanks and Scorchers, Torch, um, Skank, whatever you want to call it those are always going to be the best options for you guys um so uh to use iron well if you guys want to use iron well um uh, but yeah if at this level you're not gonna have scorchers and most of you guys won't be using tanks uh you're either gonna be using warriors ruka or hookah so if you're using ruka or hookah uh, you guys kind of have to experiment what i found personally for me since i have a lot of true damage statues uh, I found that battle orders works better for me but what I also found is on my main account when I use like Kreef uh, RZCM uh, battle orders and iron well are pretty much even the best ability to use with I mean the best troop combination to use with iron will are scorchers and tanks so skank or torch that's the best ability you guys can possibly use uh, for uh, torch and skank so I mean there might be like Battle Orders is up there. Battle Orders is pretty, pretty cool. Um, and that's not, we're not even talking about Captain Everspark yet. They bucked Captain Everspark. So now Captain Everspark, guys, is so cool. Uh, she's so much, so much stronger. They buffed her up. Um, and a lot of people are using her now. So at first she was kind of pointless, but she's a lot better now. So anyway, back to my favorite top, 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 like, back to my favorite topic, Warriors. Warriors. Um, an amazing strategy guys um, and it's even better with uh, the heroes so I would say for warriors at this level if you do not have ever spark unlocked yet just use iron I mean no just use battle war so um, some people will modify their warrior attacks and they'll flare like back here and then they'll drop like and no they won't drop an extra smoke they have to time they have to drop their hero so much ahead of time so much uh longer ahead of time so much sooner than they drop their warriors a little bit later like five seconds later they time it perfectly they spend a little extra energy 
But basically, all that you get is your hero gets a stand and a, her battle order is going to cover all your warriors. So in my case, since I don't have a lot of warriors, it's only going to cover like or miss like 20, oh no, not 20, like 10 warriors. Uh, it's not going to hit like 10 warriors, but for a higher level, it's going to hit all of your warriors. Now, personally, I have found and I have kind of adopted the mind that I'm not going to modify my warrior strategy too much for this new hero. I'm not going to spend an extra flare and put potentially even an extra smoke just so my hero can't hit or get her or battle orders in front of all my warriors or affect all of my warriors i am losing words today guys i usually like earlier when i recorded this episode it was fine i was fine i don't know what happened okay um anyway I'm not going to modify my warrior strategy too much. And I know a lot of people are modifying their warrior strategy. Like Chicken NO is trying. Um, it probably would be better in the long run if you were to master the strategy. But what I have found is it works a lot better for me. If I save an extra smoke. If I save an extra flare. Um, or even more than that. And I just only affect half my warriors. So that's what I found for me. I haven't tried Iron Will with Warriors yet. I actually should probably try that. Maybe I'll try that tomorrow for my map clearing session tomorrow. Because that would be really interesting to see if it actually works or not. I'm doubting it will work because the whole Iron Will... I mean, no. Yeah, the whole Iron Will is... It works good for if troops that are like just like plowing through a base. But the whole like mindset of using Warriors... Okay, finally. So we're going to convert this... Because I'm not going for achievements. And I'm going to claim this. Finally. <laughs> um, and can I create? I can. So I just created a dark masterpiece yesterday. So hopefully we'll get a better one. I got my gumbo from a 20 up to a 23. So that's better. So I got my 30%. Anyway. Um, what was I talking about? Iron Will. Uh, the whole mindset for warriors, guys. I'm going to show you some off attacks with uh, Captain Burke here. Or Sergeant Brick. The whole mindset with warriors, how you attack with warriors, is you just try to deal as much damage as you possibly can in a short amount of time. That's why you shock everything. That's why troop um, troop damage works so much better than troop health with warriors. Um, that's why. What's what's Jilly doing here? Just clearing mines. Is he doing? Is he gonna drop his troops? I don't know. Oh yeah, he dropped. He's like super low level. He didn't even use the ability so. Rogue is one of our higher level members. He's a co-leader, and I believe he was going for a solo here. I may be wrong. Um, anyway, um, yeah, so warriors, you want to just deal as much damage as you possibly can in the shortest amount of time. Ooh, that was a little, a little late. Peaked. Okay. Um, and it doesn't work well if you have Iron Will because then you'll deal, you won't deal less damage before the update, but you'll just, you could deal so much more damage if you bring uh, the battle order. So hopefully you kind of catch my drift on what I'm saying. I'm basically saying it's not worth bringing something that basically uh, nerfs down the defenses that basically, basically like gives your troops a little more of a buffer. Uh, with their health takes the uh, troops will take 50% less damage. It's not worth it. It, it, it For warriors at least it's much better uh, Just bringing all damage. That's why you don't want to bring iron will for AZ or something like that or a smoky hookah Because it's just not gonna work it you, you, you do much better if you just try to get as much damage down as you possibly can Heck, Why can't I talk today? I'm like stuttering like crazy um I literally don't know why I recorded a video half an hour ago and I was fine. Okay, we're going to show you a couple more op attacks. We're going to kind of talk about Captain Everspark because there's a lot of debate here. Um, the, wait, did he change his name? I get, I get, I get, I get. Okay, so I get had. How the heck is he level. Th what the I get changed his name. He used to be I get fan number one, but now he's I get three. This is a third account and he's about to pass up me. He is definitely using two uh two builders and I can't use two builders because I'm I'm doing a freaking free to play series, which is the worst thing in the world, let me tell you, because you can't like clear your map with diamonds. I do have a lot of diamonds right now, but normally I would have a lot less. Okay. Please use the ability. Please use the ability. He didn't use the ability. Um, and guys, come on. Use. Don't just bring Ruka. I mean, rifleman. You, 
It's like the worst thing you can do. Uh, riflemen are meant to tank damage. They're not meant to just deal damage. Um, he, he would have been able to destroy this base if he brought some Zookas with his troops to provide some damage. And the hero is dead, so this is a hero video. I'm going to show some hero gameplay as a lower level. Um, so yeah, I hope I kind of helped you kind of like figure out which ability you guys should use for your hero. Um, I know a lot of people are saying battle orders is good, and there's even a chance other abilities are going to get buffed. For one, I think the cluster grenade and the demolition charge are definitely going to get buffed within the next week. They're going to buff those because they're so weak right now. Definitely the demolition charge. I, I think they may even make it so the demolition charge will one-shot any building, which would be super cool. And it would be super overpowered for high-level operations, but I, I, I think it would be kind of cool. Um, so yeah, if there's like a Doom Cannon with like 100,000, no, like 200,000 HP, and you use the ability, you flare to it, use the ability on it, she'll toss her grenade, or sh yeah, she'll toss her demolition charge, it'll wait like a second, then blow up, that'd be cool. I don't know if they do it or not because it's like super, super overpowered. And none of these guys are really using their abilities too much. So, uh, another whole like theory, guys. A lot of people are saying this update sucks. And I just don't have that opinion. I'm, I'm loving this update. It's probably because... Oh, he used the ability. It's probably because uh, we got so much views. Guys, we got 2,500 subscribers in the last 28 days. You guys don't realize. We used to only get... Okay, what was the very first house? People probably looking at their phones trying to make sure it wasn't, it's not them texting. I'm sorry. Um, people, I mean, no, we used to get like, what was it? I remember it was big for us when we gained like a thousand subscribers in 28 days, which was only like a month ago, so, or a month and a half ago, so. We gained so many subscribers. We gained like 400 subscribers the day the hero update dropped, which is insane. So thank you guys. Thanks so much for your support and everything, guys. That was a very good hero video. So let me know how you guys are using the heroes. I'll show you one cat's never spark so I don't leave her out of it. Um, let me know how you guys are using the heroes in the comments. Let me know how you guys like the hero update. People are saying um, the heroes are kind of pointless. Um, I don't have that opinion at all. I love the heroes. I think the heroes actually deal or do a lot for the game um i wish heroes were i know um, i know i'm gonna get hate for this but i wish heroes were a little more like clash of clans heroes and i know i'm gonna get hate for that guys um but what i like about clash of clans heroes is they're not just helper troops they can actually deal damage and do something so in boom beach the heroes are only helper troops at this point in time they might make more heroes that are just like damage dealers but these heroes that we have right now are helper troops battle orders iron will you can't win a base with just a hero and it'd kind of be cool if you could but then it'd be a little overpowered um, but yeah they're helper heroes even uh captain ever spike who is an individualist she is also uh kind of team centered because she spawns with critters and helps the team um the demolition charge universal remote those are okay abilities but i wouldn't use them in like operations uh, i i think demolition charge is definitely the weakest ability in my opinion um it totally depends on like what troop combination you're using and i also found that hookah works incredibly well with the critter swarm and uh, their universal remote it's insane how good that is anyway if i were to like make a chart saying the worst ability to the best ability in my opinion it would be the demolition charge cluster grenade what's that called yeah cluster grenade um then it'd probably be the universal remote then the critter swarm then the iron will then the battle orders iron will and battle orders are pretty exchangeable um i don't know if there's too much of a difference there um they're pretty much the same in my opinion some of them work better with one combination I'm losing my voice. Some of them work better with another combination. So that's going to be it for the video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, be sure to drop a like. As always, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.